welcome welcome back this is abram and this is abram youtube channel and we always say that information is power and uh, it is my duty to ensure that i'm sharing a legit information and information from a legit website yesterday i did a video on ds260 and uh, we discussed what you are supposed to have before you fill that form and now in this video i want to share what you should do after submitting your ds260 one you must be mentally prepared you must prepare yourself mentally physically as well as financially because once you have submitted your ds260 what you should receive next from the kcc or consular center is second notification letter this is one of the most important letter a diversity visa winner is expecting from the consular kentucky center from the kentucky consular center kcc second notification letter or the 2nl it is an official letter to invite you for a visa interview at the united states embassy now how does this second notification letter look like i will just use an example i obtained from online platforms and uh, this is the example of a second notification letter as you can see it has the address of kentucky consular center kcc and on your left hand it has your address so it is a letter addressing you or instructing you or notifying you that you have been scheduled for an interview at the united states embassy of your country this letter it has three main parts part one is to inform you that you have been scheduled for an interview for example in this case if i may read the first two sentences it states that this is the official notice for you to pursue your application for a dv 2018 visa an appointment has been scheduled for you at the u.s embassy so this is to this is to notify you the united states has already preserved a visa for you now it is your responsibility to submit the proofs so that you can be issued with that visa the second part of this letter it entails the appointment date time and location let's say for example you are from kenya your second notification letter will have interview appointment date location which is u.s embassy which is located in gigiri and time and you must be keen once if your second notification is written 8 a.m you must be there before 8 a.m maybe normally the united states embassy in kenya they open their doors at 6 a.m so you must be fair at 6 a.m always keep time for your visa interview because you should be there so that you can avoid all the struggles you can familiarize yourself with the environment and it is good to keep time anyway so it is vital for you to 
read your second notification letter well. It is vital for you to ensure you have all the requirements that any person needs for a visa interview. The other thing about your second notification letter, it has a, it has your case number and you must prove that you are the one calling that letter. For example, you must have all the supporting documents. Remember the second notification letter has your name and also so that so you must have your legal documents that shows your full names. So it is vital to note that second notification it's a very very important letter. So in the next video I will talk more about how or what you need during your interviews or what you should do before you attend your interview thank you guys thank you if you have any question please comment below i will respond to your questions thank you